Assalamualaikum once again. So now we are going to continue with the second model of argument and that is a uh, Rogerian model of argument. Now, uh, a bit of background info uh, is actually based on a work by a psychologist named Carl Rogers. And uh, this model of argument basically focuses on finding a middle ground between the author and the audience. Okay, and this model works well to understand your own biases and how you might work to find common ground with others. Okay, now um, by just having this info, we can see there's actually a slight difference between the first model that is Talman and as well as the second model. Talman is basically, you know that what is the um, solution you know or you are actually trying to prove that your solution is better or your claim is better than others by having a structured analysis however for rogerian it's more like you know finding uh the the, the middle crown finding you know um okay i have this claim okay you have your claim so what can we do i mean can we find like a middle ground between between me and your claim you know uh, that is the difference between rogerian as well as talman okay now let us look at the um, you know uh, some of the um, tips that they can share with us yeah this is basically when you do, when uh, when you decide to analyze an argument using rogerian model not necessarily that you have to go through this but i hope that this 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 aspects these aspects sorry these aspects can help you to understand better uh, on how to analyze an argument based on this model okay the first one is you introduce the problem what seems to be the problem and then next is for you to acknowledge the other side and then you must also present your side okay now it's important yeah for you to acknowledge the other side because that shows that you are all you are also aware what is happening on the other side okay and it is also important for you to present your side because you need to know that what what are basically that you have with you and later you can compare this yeah and um, you must also bring the two sides together so that you can find the middle ground between these two claims. And then you must also remind your audience of the balance and perspective, uh, sorry, of the balance perspective of these two. All right, so let us look at the example here. For example, uh, introduce the problem. Mr. E wants to use Google Meet, but the students prefer Zoom. So that's the problem. So you have, you have uh, uh you know you you have introduced the problem the problem sorry you have introduced the problem next is for you to acknowledge so uh, let's see that's let's see that's the problem and i am the one using this rogerian model i have to acknowledge the other side the other side is you guys undeniably zoom is easily accessible and user friendly frankly speaking yes in fact i prefer zoom you know before this i prefer zoom zoom is just where you can just you know add in um or you can just call anyone or you just share the link and people can just have uh, you know teleconferencing with each other but however uh, you know i have to present on my side so this is the third one in terms of safety google meet is safer so because of the recent incident that happened uh, i felt i i mean i feel that you know we need to consider safety as well when it comes to online learning because you know is this is not going to be the first and the last um, teleconferencing between me and my students you know there'll be more after this coming in since we're going to continue this semester online so uh, having said that i have presented my side um, my point here is safety so bring the two sides together perhaps we can have two sessions of Google Meet and Zoom to discuss on the same topic so if let's say you are okay with Google Meet then you come and join my Google Meet session or if you think that you want to uh, you still want to continue with using Zoom then I'll have another session using Zoom although you know we talk about safety but of course Zoom has addressed few things uh, in order to uh, in order to address the issue yeah um, we can follow those instructions in order to have a, a, a safer teleconference
referencing via Zoom. And remind your audience of the balance perspective. With this, everyone is happy. Yeah? Okay.